And local health leaders want the public to know the vaccine shortage is a problem that starts at the top. I spoke with Dr. Scott Chavers with the Mobile County Health Department as their supply runs out. The issue in the pipeline really starts at the manufacturers. Vaccine rollout in Mobile County hitting a wall. Local health leaders putting a pause on first time vaccinations as availability like other cities across the state and country sees a critical decline. They are running critically short on raw materials, which is delaying vaccine availability in the state of Alabama. At the Mobile County Health Department, Dr. Scott Chambers says their current vaccine supply is for second doses only. We have received very little vaccine uh, this week from Alabama Department of Public Health. New shipments of vaccine aren't expected until mid next week. The frustrating thing to, to us is although we have the people, we have the process, we have the protocol, we don't have the product to actually put in people's arms. Growing frustration at the local level met with a hopeful perspective from the nation's top infectious disease expert. This week, Dr. Anthony Fauci saying he expects most Americans will be vaccinated by the middle of this year. Dr. Fauci's projections are predicated on the availability of two additional manufacturers getting their vaccines approved. Those two manufacturers being AstraZeneca, which Dr. Chaver says has the largest allotment of vaccine at 300 million doses, and Johnson & Johnson, which would only require one dose, allowing twice the number of people to be vaccinated. Both vaccines are still undergoing clinical trials in the U.S. The next vaccine clinic in Mobile County is expected to take place on the 27th at the Alabama Cruise Terminal. MCHD is no longer doing appointments. Vaccines will be given on a first come first serve basis for people 75 and older, first responders and healthcare workers.